inheritance in c sharp is similar to what we have in other object oriented languages in this tutorial we take a short example to get introduced to the syntax we also learn about the protected and sealed keywords consider a class called area with two protected members for length and breadth these members are accessible to the derived classes but not the external world because they have been marked as protected protected means that they are accessible to the derived classes the same thing that we have in object oriented terminology the constructor accepts two arguments and saves the length and breadth then we have a method called print that prints the area of the figure this has been marked virtual so that the derived classes can override it and define their own print methods so if you want a class to be able to override it then you should mark a method as virtual immediately next we have a class called volume that inherits derives from area this class adds a member called height because this is the basic purpose of inheritance that you add something to that class the class has been marked as sealed so that it cannot be derived any further we have used the keyword only for tutorial purposes otherwise its usage depends on your specific code the constructor takes three arguments and passes two of them to the area class the use of base keyword has been made for this purpose finally the print method has been overridden for displaying the volume notice that it was possible to access length and breadth because they are protected members of the area class and they are available to the derived class because they were protected there we can test the class by creating an object of the volume class and printing it out run the program to verify that the program compiles and prints the volume as expected this should get you started about the syntax of deriving a class in c sharp thank you